millennials do. We try to show our whole life off like we're important. Mike, do you want to slate that? <laughs> it's Mike Belindi at rollingout.com. We know that that second camera is not on, yeah? Bobby? Yeah. It, no, that, that's now gone off. <laughs> but the, the, the camera on your left wasn't on for the last interview. Does that matter? Don't say that. And that one's now off. There we go. Mike, reflate that for me. Short thing. It's Mike Melindy at rollingout.com. Anytime you're ready. How are you, gentlemen? Very good. How are you doing? Pretty grumpy. Pretty grumpy? Yeah. This is, that's no mood for a Paddington movie. <laughs> I, mean, I, I guess you know you have a right to, to feel grumpy given the fact that you are the villain in this film. So tell us a little about you know what it felt like kind of being on the, the bad guy side. Is it more fun playing the bad guy versus the good? Always, always, uh, and, uh, and therapeutic too. If you're not a very nice person, <laughs> it's nice to be able to get that out there. It's like coming out. Right. You know, one thing I love about um, Paddington is that it always kind of feels like like a love story that's written to the city of London. Um, seeing that both of you are from there, is there one thing that you feel like the audience is going to learn about London, and is there something that you were really excited to, that the film was able to showcase? Uh, I think uh, how, particularly how glorious and, and uh, operational London telephone boxes are. Um, uh, it's, it's a rare treat to see a telephone box that, <laughs> that works. Uh, in, in, certainly in Paddington's case, it's a key part of the plot. But I think in, in all seriousness, I think it, it does show off London, both the, the chocolate box, uh, ide idealised vision of London um, that uh, a lot of people who come from overseas you know, expect to see. But also, you know, it does show us the modern buildings and the, the Shard, which is this uh, you know, particularly new, iconic bu bu building on the, on the south bank of the Thames. So it shows you uh, all, all sort of facets of, uh, of London life. Yeah, and I think a lot of people don't realise just how many bears we have running around yeah. um, talking and getting into scrapes like that. Mm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite interesting. I've never <laughs> seen him when I was there. Yeah. Um, you know, Paddington said he's, he's this lovable bear, but I feel like he's always you know, striving for perfection, but he's always seeming to make mistakes. Is there one thing that the world could learn from Paddington, and, and especially in today's times, when it comes to just his innocence and his, his desire to always do the right thing? I think it's very simple. There's, there's, there's the philosophy that Aunt Lucy uh, has, has drilled into him, which is if, you know, if you're kind and polite, the world will be right. That may be idealised, but it's not a bad starting place. For sure. Um, Paddington is always, you know, I, I remember writing a letter to the Queen when I was in the fourth grade, because Paddington <laughs> has like this nostalgic feeling for many people around the world. Is there a, a moment that you guys remember about your first Paddington memory, or, or what about Paddington do you remember first? Well, I remember my mother reading me Paddington stories uh, to get me to sleep. Um, I was 32 at the time and I had this terrible insomnia problem. Uh, and it completely worked. It was amazing. Yeah, I can recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember, uh, I think the, the, when Paddington really cemented uh, his, his, his uh, a place in my heart was when I started reading them for myself, when, when I was um, 42. 42. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I was, when I can't remember what age I was, you know, eight or ten or something, and uh, he became very, he became mine, he was my mate, my, my pal, and I wanted to go on adventures with him, so he was very much there in my childhood, yeah. For sure, well we appreciate both of you guys, and look forward to more of your work, so thank you. Thanks, thank you very, very much. much. Cheers. Yeah.